Nemzi versus Gul'dan. Your souls shall be mine. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Nice! It hit that mountain giant, that's pretty good. Faceless follow-up is probably not that good. Okay, and he burned the Doomsayer. That's pretty good. We have to tap once more. Now the question is if I go for the Cobalt Librarian here. Problem is two damage on this guy don't really matter, right? If I could, if this one was, was a 3 1, I would probably do it. But this doesn't really work out. <laughs> nice, by the way, the Nomferatu brought me the Gul'dan. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, this is gonna be a rough little bit because now the mountain giant is actually not that good but very well we still play that one if he cannot really deal with it i think copying it is a good option hellfire burn Hmm. I think Hellfire is... Is that an option here to deal with the three twos? Probably not. I think my health doesn't really matter. Not yet. So I think I play the faceless and do the trade. Hellfire doesn't really do that much. I mean, I protect, pr protect the giant here a little bit, but I don't kill that 1-4. I think I would play Defile here if I had it, but I'm not sure if I want to go for the Risk Cobalt Librarian into Defile. Probably not, so I think I take the places and get an additional AJ. I don't really need to tap that much because I have my my important 10 drops already. Dark Pact on that guy. Makes sense to pull out the early White Lord. Mm. Dark Pact is not good without a cube. So if I tap, what do I play? Mistress, I suppose. I think Doomguard is quite terrible. So I have to tap. Um, so yeah. mm. so I think we double trade. Cannot really protect this anymore. Now the question is Hellfire. I don't like it that much here, do I? No, that can be more useful later on. So I think I play both of the mistresses, maybe even the librarian. Yeah, that's a good draw, more or less. I don't think I can go for the fatigue plan anyway, so... If he double trades here again, I'm really looking for the fire, I guess. Ah, uh, we got the Doom Guard. No, that one I wanted to pull. I wanted to pull that one from the Lackey. I guess it doesn't work out. So we can pull. I guess we can pull nonetheless. 
dead. Mine drop here. Do this way. So he's quite far ahead in fatigue, but we do have the 10 drops. Hmm. Okay, but he destroyed his own dark pets, or one of them at least. Prince Taldoran. Yeah, that's good, but not too good. Uh, that good. I want to produce Doom Guards, but I have no way to play them with these guys in hand. That's awkward here. How about Hellfire? It doesn't really deal that much damage to his face, right? Actually, Defile deals damage to his face a little bit. Not that much. The same damage on the Void Lord, but we kill this guy here. I could, in theory, copy him. Or copy this. But I think I'm really looking for my cubes. Hmm. And for the weapon, obviously. So I think I take the first Defile here. Maybe I should keep it, but... Okay, Faceless Manipulator. Hmm. I wonder if... Still looking for that weapon. Go deep down. I think I need to tap again. Okay, that's good. That's good. Need to get that one. What do you ask of me? Now I think I hit face. Oh, should I play the Doomsayer first? I guess I should have played the Doomsayer first. But anyway, we hope that he doesn't run weapon destruction. He might have weapon destruction though, then I think I lose. Oh, well, it's actually good he draws another card, so he's not that far ahead in fatigue. Ah, uh, he has the weapon destruction, that's not good. Not like so I can never play Doom Guards. It's bad. That's real. Or I can play them, but not. I have to play my other guys before. So I guess we now switch for the for that copy plan here. Now one question is, do I want to trade stuff and play the Hellfire? More or less my last AoE. I wonder if... I guess next turn I will play Gul'dan. Let's play the Doom Sayer here, whatever. I don't think that that card does that much and it sets up for a nicer... Uh, for a nicer Blood Reaver, I think. Maybe that was a small mistake here. Ah, damn it. If I knew I top decked the giant, I would probably do it like this. But I think I, I want to start sucking now as much as I can. I guess he still has two twisting others.
But we still have threats, right? Not that bad if he twist things here. Mm. It's not good for him, I think. He still takes a lot of damage from my guys. There's a cube. So I think I go for the mountain giant, or do I play the mountain giant only together with that cube? But I'm not sure if he has spell breakers. Can we anyway do this? Maybe we don't actually have to play something. We are still in the lead, right? We are still quite far in the lead. The only question is mountain giant here, right? Or do I want to combo that with the cube? If I get two more cards, I can actually combo it with the cube and suck. That's quite good. So let's hold the turn. He needs to do something, right? He's about to die, I think. So he needs to play Gul'dan on a Zoth. And then re-react re re on that. Hellfire. And then what? Stonehill. Stonehill and Fire Creeper. You get the possessed lucky. I don't really want to play that lucky. I don't want to draw another card. So many bloody decisions. They have lethal, by the way. Not really, right? No, I cannot. I can never push through with the Doom Guard. It's close though. If I have Prince Taldoram, this would be 11 damage. It's just I can never break so the taunts. Many bloody decisions. This allows him to go for Siphon Soul on that one. On the other hand, then he kinda has to Siphon Soul. I must feed um, now. I'm not sure about Spellbreakers in his deck. I think I do it like this. Do I wanna maybe play the spellstone on that one? No, I'm not sure. Do it like this. I think I'm fine if he goes for Siphon Soul here. Spellstone and Spellstone? Okay, double Spellstone, healing for 10. Right. If I draw the Void Lord now, I can either play the Void Lord or the Lackey. Oh, he's tapping, that's pretty good. So he's still looking for the Gul'dan. Nice, and we get the Void Lord. I guess we play that. Or we play the Lackey and, and attack him. Another option. No, but he can just kill it. No, let's play the Void Lord. The Void Lord anyway means that one turn we cannot uh, suck him. Okay, do I just play my Nezoth into his Nezoth? Yes, so. What other options do I have? Hmm. Can I cube my Void Lord? Attack with it first and then cube it? But I cannot kill the cube on the same turn. I'm not sure about that. So I think I just play Minus off into this board. Maybe we put the damage here. So we put it on the right door. Now. I don't think it really matters. Maybe I shouldn't even attack so that he cannot kill my stuff that easily.
So there's one more twisting nether. And we are at the same level of fatigue. I'm just one turn ahead. I guess he's setting up for the file now. But I think it should be okay. can justify that as well. Here's the four. We're lacking the three help minion. We can suck the dirty rat. My then everything dies. Goes. What threats does he have left? I'm not sure. This one is not playable. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can never break his stuff here, right? Can we? No. I must feed now. Hopefully I didn't mess up that defile again. No, I didn't. Good job me. Your magic shall not save you. I'm almost out of cards. I think I just cube my guy here. Suffer. What's he gonna do about that? There's one spellbreaker gone already. Probably good enough to cube this one. Do I want to copy this cube or do I get a better cube? Be silencing that and not killing that, I get a better cube, right? And if not, I can still copy the next cube. So that's fine. I'm almost out of cards. <clears throat> Best cube I'll ever get, I think. And I probably just. I think I suck this one. Next turn we have fire. I'm out of cards.
He's going to defile this. But we get a lot of damage pushed here. What healing does he have left? I'm not sure. Okay, so I get 5 heal. Hmm. But do I want damage instead of 5 heal? I potentially even have the chance to play... Huh. <laughs> I, I will risk it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> but this was obviously really lucky. But I think the worst case is keeping the librarian and keeping that keeping that uh, spellstone is good, then I can still suck and spellstone next turn. I think it's worth taking the risk to pressure him. Doomsayer is good, and so is Faceless Manipulator, because I can go giant into Faceless Manipulator. And I can play this one the turn before the giant. He might get a card here, but I'm not playing it on turn 1, obviously. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit more aggressive version. Hmm. Do I want a Doomsayer now? I don't think he can kill the Doomsayer, so all he can do is take a card. Hmm. The other option is to go for Hellfire quickly. So how important is the damage here? Let's say he plays that 3-4. Greetings. That 3-4 is really annoying. Greetings. So I think I played a Doomsayer already and tap next turn. Next turn tap, Librarian might be a decent turn if the Cleric is gone. I'm not sure, like obviously sometimes he will silence the Doomsayer, I guess. But I think that's... Thank you. Not quite what was planned. It's not really the common case. Not quite what was planned. Okay, so we tap and we play this. Always tap first, right? Because you have the chance to get that spellstone. And then next turn we follow up with the giant. Looks good for me. Plus we developed a 2-1 for a potential other fairy dragon. Whatever he has. Guess it's even good to just lower the health of his minions. Because he might be the double up priest. Yeah. I think I trade there already. To lower potential of doubling up. I mean, another option is to go for Spellstone and trade the Drake away. But I think it's just pretty nice to develop that 8 8 when I can follow up, it up with either Dark Pack Cube or the Faceless. So. And I will I will reduce the health here, definitely. Two damage to his face shouldn't really matter, in my opinion. Do I want to get a fresh 8-8 eight eight? or do I want to pull out a demon from my deck? Hellfire is never the place here, right? So I think Aceless. I wonder if... Looks okay, but not insane. What's the play next turn? The play next turn would be... The awesome play would be Cube and Dark Pack. Greetings. So, an eight eight to weak here. How good is Doomguard here? Also, not that great. I think I take an extra eight eight. 
I liked it the most, I think. Even though the 8 4 just dies to his Drake here. Pinch of death okay so we, now we know that he's exactly the spiteful summoner version i'm not quite sure if i can know that from the ascendant and from the fairy dragon i don't really think so okay, this one is not that good i think Uh, it's creating zero drops each turn, right? So it's always the wisp or the penguin. I wonder if how good is Hellfire here? Is not that good. How good is the Spellstone? We can Spellstone this one. Trade the two two or the f I guess we trade the four right then, and then he still has a little bit smaller guys. How good is the Skull of the Minari? Pretty awesome because we get two Void Lords next turn most of the time. I think that's the best here. I think that has to be the play. Can he kill me potentially? No, he doesn't have Burst, so I think this is the best play. And then next turn we go Cube Dark Pact on that Void Lord. Yeah, okay, that's annoying. Hopefully now he trades that 5-5 five five into my 8-4. That would be quite important. Uh, okay, like this, is, it's not that good anymore. Wow, that weapon did counter me. Uh, that weapon destruction did counter me hardcore, right? Mistress. So what can we do? We can spellstone this guy and hellfire. Hmm. That way we are losing the coin. We can dark pack the lackey. Doomguard sucks. And it's the most likely thing to get, right? So I think we go for the hellfire. Then we have to think actually which one to kill with a spell stone. The 8 1 or the 6 3? Pretty annoying, but I guess we have to kill the 8 1. Next turn we go for these guys. You wish to live. Ah, that's annoying. That means the Doomguard cannot kill it anymore. If we get a Doomguard. Okay, that's good actually. I don't think I want to tap first. Probably want to play this just for the health instead of the tap. Yeah, pretty sure. No. Next turn we play the Void Lord. He might go for the value trade. And obviously we hope that he cannot just steal the Void Lord. Okay, the good cards in my deck are only Blood River Gul'dan. Maybe the Faceless. Cube. To a certain extent. Let's see. Would you play any cheap card here? Okay, we get another Void Lord. And we are not dead if he steals this Void Lord, so that's quite nice. That's pretty nice. I like it. So that usually means that we grab one. That's one mind control, that's bad. So I guess now we hope that there is no second mind control. And we take the healing so that these two alone are not lethal. I mean if he has a second mind control it's lethal, right? Or a spellbreaker. I don't think there's spellbreaker in that deck though. I think he needs the second mind control.
I guess she's emoting all the time and doesn't realize <laughs> that I'm not answering. I don't really care if he wins here, then he wins. He had a good, he had a good draw. The weapon destruction war was very, very, very strong for him. I needed that pull, especially with that cube dark pack I had in hand. I must consider. Ah, uh, top deck mind control. Mm. 